In this video, I'm going to show you how to change your oil in a Yamaha Roadstar. You've got the oil tank plug and then you have the engine plug. Once you drain those two, you're good to go. I'm going to be using Mobile One Synthetic 20W50 with a Can-In filter. As far as oils go, as long as you change your oil regularly, it doesn't matter. You can use whatever oil you like as long as it's compatible with a wet clutch. What you're going to need is a 17 millimeter wrench. This will remove the front drain plug and the Can-In oil filter. Next you're going to need a 17 millimeter socket on a ratchet. This is going to be used to remove the drain plug from the oil tank. Now the first thing you want to do is either ride your bike or just start it. And what we're going to do, it's going to heat up the oil to allow it to drain out a little better. When you start your bike and you're not riding it, just use a fan like you can hear running just to cool the engine so you don't overheat it. What you're going to need is a shallow drain pan so it will slide under the bike like so. But the first thing we're going to do is loosen the engine drain plug. Once you put your hand under your bike, you can feel the drain plug. It's a little bit in front of the kickstand. Now get the wrench on the bolt. Make sure it's snug. You don't want to strip the bolt. There you go. Now, using the same 17 millimeter wrench, loosen your oil filter. Now don't get it too loose because we're going to drain the oil filter and the engine with the same pan. Next slide your pan under your bike. And this is going to be a little tight so you want to Kind of put your hand back up underneath into the pan and just work the plug out. You can see where the oil is draining from the engine. You want to slide that pan up a little further and then remove your oil filter. And you just want to wipe it clean. Make sure you don't get any dirt or gunk between the new oil filter. Now, on your new Can-In filter, or whatever filter you prefer, I like Can-In, and just pour a little oil into it. And just rub some oil around that rubber seal. It just allows it to seal better. Now to put your oil filter on, you do not need any tools. These are just hand tight. And hand tight is, if you can't tighten it no more with your hand, that is hand tight. Now let's put the drain plug back in the engine. The reason I put the oil filter on first is so I can push this pan up out of my way. In case okay. I drop the plug, I don't drop it in my oil. Once I get it started, I push my pan out of the way, put me a rag underneath to catch any oil, and just thread it in by hand. Snug it up with your hand and then use your 17 millimeter wrench to tighten it. And actually the engine drain plug is the hardest one to deal with because it's kind of low to the floor and hard to get to. Alright, you don't have to get that too tight. Uh, just wipe it off and we're ready to move on to the oil tank. 
Now, if you follow this cover, follow it down to the drain plug. Then follow it back around, and that drain plug for your oil tank is going to be behind it just a little. Here's your plug. Follow it back. And here is the plug for the oil tank. We're going to drain that next and we're going to use our 17 millimeter socket. Okay. Once you get it broke loose, pull your dra drain pan underneath and work it out. And we'll let that drain for a few minutes. While the oil tank is draining, go ahead and remove your seat by turning your key to the left and lifting up. Sometimes you may have to push down on the seat to get that cable to release. Now here's your filler plug. Just remove it. Okay, we're going to go ahead and replace the drain plug for the oil tank. Now you want to go ahead and add only two quarts of oil to your bike. Then remove your funnel. And then put your dipstick back in your oil tank and we're going to start the bike and rev it three or four times it's going to let the oil that we just put in the oil tank be sucked up into the engine that way we'll have room to add the remaining two quarts of oil into the oil tank that should be fine. Now it should have sucked that oil into the engine which is going to give us room to add the remaining two quarts of oil. There's no oil on the dipstick. It's not going to hurt your bike starting it with the two quarts in it. Yamaha recommends it. Besides, it's the only way you're going to get the first two quarts sucked up into the engine so you have room for the second two quarts in the oil tank. And you only want to add four quarts. I know in the book it calls for 4.3. The .3 is not going to make a difference in this bike. So just add four quarts and you're done. And that's it. You're done. You're ready to go riding. It's quick. It's simple. And you want to do it every 3,000 miles unless you go on long trips like I do. Like I, said, I haven't changed my oil for 7,000 miles. The oil needed it. That's the reason I use synthetic because I can go longer between oil changes, but I don't recommend it for conventional oil that breaks down too fast. And that's the only difference in synthetic and conventional. The synthetic won't the synthetic will not break down as fast, but it still breaks down. Okay, that's it. We've changed our oil and our Roadstar. Just remember you got two plugs. They both use 17 millimeter wrenches. One is a 17 millimeter socket. It also works on the Canon filter. Uh, I used 
Mobile One synthetic oil. You can use whatever oil you want as long as you change it every 3,000 miles or so. So, I hope this video has been helpful. Thanks for watching.